Hi everyone. This is your Octopath COTC grind. Today we're going to do an in-depth analysis of buffs and debuffs with examples using Sophia. If you just want the summary, here it is. We can we start from a damage of 9000 using break only to about 28000 damage per hit uh, from Sophia's uh, Glacius Claudaire if we do everything right with all breaks, buffs and debuffs and this is just going to increase when specials come. Now um, I have to apologize that I can't always comment on my videos but I don't always have the time uh, but let's get right into it. Um, buffs and debuffs they can be active, passive and they can apply status damage uh, they, can, they can apply to status damage and be element specific. So, and, and they each stack in their own categories. So, Sophia has a 30% ice damage buff that we can't turn off, so it's always going to be on. In general, we'd be looking to, to buff that as well. So, first let's take a look at what, the, what Sophia's damage looks uh, with only a... Um, with only a uh, only breaking uh, let's let's speed up this video a little bit so in this video um, we're just going to break the NPC we're using the uh, level 85 uh, battle tested sword NPC because he's weak twice so in this one we're just going to break the NPC with Sophia so that he doesn't get any debuff and we're gonna see how much his uh, three, her three boosted um, Glacius Claudaire deals of damage. So let's take a look at this. So we see it's around 9,000 damage, right? Now let's jump to um, let's jump to a fight where we're gonna use her uh, her ice debuff. So if we just use um, Raging Ice Wind. Notice that Raging Ice Wind inflicts ice resistance down. So we can see in this icon, ice resistance down. But it's just 15%. Uh, now, Sophia has another skill that also inflicts 15% damage. And the way that buffs and debuffs work is that if you use the same skill, it's just going to be the 15%. But if you use both skills, then the debuff will, the potency will increase to 30% beyond the duration. So let's take a look at this. First, we're gonna use only the, only Raging Ice Wind. So you can see we're using Rage Ice Wind here. We're gonna use Raging Ice Wind again. So it's going to increase only the duration of the debuff, not the potency. It's still going to be 15%. Now we break the NPC with Sophia. And then this is the damage that Glacius Claudaire will do. Around 10,000 damage. So that's, that's better than the 9,000 we saw before. That's an improvement, but we can do better. So let's, let's jump to the next stage. This time, instead of just using uh, Raging Ice Wind, what we're gonna do is, turn one, we're gonna use Raging Ice Wind. Now turn two, what we're gonna use is Wild Ice Wind, another spell in Sophia's kit. But since it's a different spell, it's gonna, it's gonna stack another 15% on top of the 15% we already had and also stack the duration, increase the duration. So this ability, I think it's extremely underrated. It was for me, uh, for example. This time we're gonna use Wild Ice Wind, a different skill. <coughs> so we have Ice uh, ice Debuff stacked to 30%. Now let's break the NPC with Sophia. And let's take a look at what the damage looks like. See, we went from 10k 
to 12k damage just because we use a different debuff spell that was not Raging Ice Wind. We use two different spells from the same character. Now, so far we just, we have uh, Sophia's buff and we debuffed the ice resistance of the NPC, but we can also buff um, the magic attack of Sophia. She has 30% extra ice attack, but she doesn't have an extra magic attack. So let's see what that, what that looks like. Um, so this time, what we're gonna do is we're going to choose Lynette. So same deal, but we're going to use Lynette's most masterful cheer, turn one. And then turn two, what we're gonna do is use a different skill from Lynette. Masterful moves, that's a single target buff. Mm -hmm. So the idea here is we're buffing uh, the potency. So instead of having the 20, only the 20%, we have 20% plus an extra 10%. It's not 35% because it caps at 30. Now we'll, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use Wild Ice Wind on turn two. We used Raging Ice Wind turn one. Now let's break the NPC with Sophia. And then we're gonna check what our damage looks like with Glacius Claw there uh, when the enemy is broken. Okay, now comes the Glacius Claw there. And we're up to 16k damage. That's really nice, but we can still do better because um, we have I uh, we have ma active magic buff, but we can still have passive magic buff. So let's take a look at that. Um, so here we're gonna take a look at passive buff. So Manuel is a three-star NPC. This is a budget replacement for Eliza. Uh, Eliza buffs 20% magic passively, so it's a different category. Uh, Manuel only buffs 10, but since I don't have Eliza, we'll go with Manuel here. So this is what he does. Uh, let's take a look at his kit. Um, let's just put Primrose there. And then Manuel has... I just scrolled too fast here has an initial element attack boost that boosts 10% magic of him and his ally. That along with Lynette swap uh, is going to allow us to add 20% extra passive magic damage to Sophia on top of everything we did. So this time, uh, if you take a look at Sophia's uh, uh, icon here, you see that there's this little wand here with a white border. This is how we know it's a passive buff. Um, and then uh, you see Lynette is going to cast Masterful Cheer, but this time she's in the back row. So his uh, her passive buff is going to trigger as well. Let's take a look at what happens. And we're gonna do the usual, usual Raging Ice Wind. <clears throat> so when Lynette uh, goes to the front row, she extends the duration of the uh, passive buff and adds an extra 10% potency to that. On top of that, there's also her spell. So she also uh, added the 20% uh, elemental buff. Now on, <coughs> now next turn, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Wild Ice Wind so that we add that extra 15%. We're gonna cast the masterful moves, but this time, note that we have an extra buff icon here. I kind of skipped it. Here, here we go. This wand with the white border. So this is the passive. Uh, this is the passive damage. Let's see what the damage looks like. So now we're gonna break with Sophia. 
And this is what the damage looks like. We're up to almost 19k damage. Now, what can we still do? Well, uh, we can still actively debuff the NPC magic resistance. And this is what we're gonna do now. We're going to use Viola and Lynette to debuff his magic resistance uh, by 30%. So on top of everything we did, what we're gonna do now is we're going to use Viola's Debilitate along with Raging Ice Wind and Masterful Cheer, swapping Lynette outside of the role. <coughs> Use Wild Ice Wind alongside with Masterful Moves to cap the buff and debuff. And we're going to use Lynette's uh, magical debuff in Bemusing Strut here. So we'll add an, an extra layer of debuff. You see that this just increased the, the, the re further reduced the defense. It stacked the duration. Now let's see what Glacius Claudaire looks like. We're up to 22k. Now the very last thing we're going to do here is we're going to introduce a passive debuff to, to, to the enemy. And the way we're going to do that is by um, using um, Sophia's unique item plus as lights um, debuff. So when Aslight breaks an enemy, he passively debuffs Ice Resistance by 15%. And we want to combine that with Sophia's unique item, uh, which also passively debuffs the enemy by 15% at the beginning of the, of the fight. That's her uh, Awakening 4 accessory. Now let's see what, what the fight looks like uh, when we do all of that combined. So now we see that in the beginning of the, the fight, the NPC has a passive ice debuff. You see that it's passive because of the white uh, border here. So we do everything combined. Note that previously we never broke with as light, so we wouldn't proc his pass, uh, her passive. But this time we're gonna do exactly that. So we're buffing, same deal with... Um, Wild Ice Wind, Masterful Moves, Debilitate. Now we're gonna get the Bemusing Strut. But this time, notice that Us Light is the one breaking the NPC. So when we hit start here, this adds duration to the debuff. Now Us Light is going to break. So take a look at what happens here in the passive ice debuff. It just increased in duration. So now we have everything stacked together. Let's see what Sophia can do. So now we're up to 28k per hit, which is a very nice improvement. There is only the specials to look forward to. And that's the analysis. I hope you all liked it. And that's your COTC grind signing off. Thank you.